what we're doing. We're going to go through and we're going to tape up the all the bottoms of the windows and all around the ground, the whole way around, just to fill in everything. I went through yesterday, like I said, and taped up all the high areas. But yeah, so now we're just going to start at one corner, pretty much go through each section, tape it off completely. So then, yeah, when it comes time to spray, we don't have to worry about over spray especially depending on the your wind conditions as well is how much you're going to have to tape up or then cover up things if it's you know a nice beautiful day really still you know yeah you're still going to have to cover up all your windows and everything like that but yeah we're going to have to probably cover up a bit more today just because the wind's up so yeah you always got to be mindful of the conditions when you are spraying that's for sure and really it doesn't matter how windy it is you can always spray you just got to make sure you cover up a lot lot more so yeah always a day to spray pbj tape up all this driveway um i always put down my sheets first as well just makes it easier because then what you do when it comes to tape and to it you don't have to worry about your sheets getting tucked underneath because you you never want to pull your sheets always have tape and a roll attack tape ready to go yeah seriously if i didn't have this i wouldn't be able to do what i do and that's spray finish so yeah it it would be for me something that i definitely wouldn't uh, be able to go without and if i did it would definitely make it a lot harder that's for sure so yeah the 3m hand masker or the eye quip are both you know ones i use a lot and definitely something if you want to get into spray you need one of these uh, even as a DIY, just to go through and do, you know, aluminium windows or anything really that you do want to spray, having, you know, a tape masking machine just, yeah, makes everything so much easier, that's for sure. Briefly, there were a spy. Let's bring it back. So this is pretty much how it comes. It will come like this with, obviously, your blade. Another thing as well, a lot of these blades, sometimes, you know, you can't help it. They will drop down on the ground. I've had this machine probably for five years, but I have replaced the blades a fair few times. You can get the replacement blades for these from Ingo Industrial. They do have the 3M or the iQuip replacement blades. They are around $10, I'm, I think. Always good to have a couple of replacement blades as well. So depending on how wide your tape is or I'm, I'm sorry your paper is how far you want to put it out or in as well but I always just have, sort of have it on the middle it's that happy medium um, so yeah just click that on slide this in here always with a new roll I always like to you know this is a new roll I always like to just bring it out that one little bit just to make sure that you're not going to get any tears put it on make sure it's always slid all the way on and vice versa on the other side we'll take that bit off there and just run connected to this surface as well a lot of people do go underneath see this little plastic tab here you can run it underneath here that's what it's for um, and then put it on like that but I feel it runs better for me without that guide i feel like i can it just runs a lot more freer so you're not putting as much tension on your roll going underneath instead if you're going straight to it like this and bypassing that there that's that it just works better that's that's my opinion anyway so that's the way i like to do it um and i always like to use the I quip Enfo, but not the 24 millimeter. It's always the 36. The 36 I like to use is because you have got the wider tape, but as you can see here, I've probably got about, I'd say, you know, 35% or, you know, 35% on my paper. And I've probably got about 65% on the surface that I'm taping. So for me to have no tape tack on the surface is better than having you know usually with your 26 it would sort of be like that there and i feel like you're not getting as much tack 
um, on, on the surface. It's obviously what you do when you've got that there. But uh, I always, yeah, always just use 36 millimeter. I don't really swap between my different sizes in tape, even though, yeah, you, you can. There's no problem with that at all. But um, yeah, so that's why we're doing. And the reason why I do put my sheet down first is because you always want to have it right over the top. For example, see now, I have done a video on this as well, but we'll just quickly do it again while we're here. I always have it over the top like this. So when you are spraying, it's coming out your overspray and just on your sheet. So if you had it like this and you spray, your sheet comes up and it gets on um, underneath the surface. So yeah, always have it over the top. And then I'll just you know, tack it down like that so it doesn't blow up. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the reason why I put down all my material sheets first and then go through and mask up and cover up between that. taping up something um, or covering up for protection just look at that section and just imagine when you are spraying where is the overspray going to go it all depends on which way the wind's going of course so you always put it up and the wind's going this way um, so yeah you just want to always make sure no, it is only a timber white fence but still you don't want to get any overspray that you don't want to get paint on anything that you're not painting so you know I get a lot of questions about you know get overspray on this and that and I always like as long as you make sure everything's completely covered up there's no reason why you'll get paint on it it's quite that simple you cover it it's protected so yeah always just imagine you spraying where it's going to go um, and a lot of people as well when it's still a nice day, your paint or your overspray will travel a lot further without um, turning to dust. Where in a windy condition like this, you know, the time your paint hits the wall and then you do have your overspray, you've only got probably, you know, two foot before it will turn to spray dust as well. So you gotta remember that, you know, it might look like you've got overspray on surfaces but a lot of the majority of the time it will be just spray dust as well so yeah always be mindful of that also it's always good to set goals as well for, for the day you know like i always try to set myself a goal and i like to achieve it that way it makes you feel good when you're going home for me what i thrive and what i leave off is that feeling of driving away when you've completed the job or you completed the task that you wanted to for the day it makes everything that you do fulfilling worth it and you know at the end of the day that's what we chase we all chase that feeling of um feeling good and when you succeed on a job clients are happy you're happy the quality of what you have achieved is um a hundred percent there's really no better feeling. So it doesn't matter if you're, whatever you're doing, if you're painting, um, if you're jumping out of a plane, if you're surfing, catching that perfect wave, you get that feeling. And um, yeah, that's what we live for, 100%. So always, yeah, always try to set yourself a goal for the day. See, for me now, what I was thinking why I'm sheeting up, I'm like, Okay, really, for me to finish what I need to today, I need to get everything taped up. I need to get um, 
the machine out, get all my paint ready to go. And I need to get a coat on all this complete section before 12 o'clock. So I think we're sitting at about 10, we're quarter to 10. So for me, you want to achieve that goal, you set it and you make it happen. So yeah, by 12 o'clock, we want to have this completely taped up and we want to have a sprayed out first coat. So we can go have some lunch, we can come back to spray our second coat um, and we know we've achieved what we needed to for the day. windows I've been trying to lately to use the tape a bit more just to cut down on the plastic that we're using. Yeah. And in the wind as well. Oh. It probably helps out a lot as well. But um how to see how you, see how I'm still doing it, where I'm trying to line it up at each end. So when I come to tack it, I still only have to do one pretty much line down them all. Tomorrow, that might be worse. So, you know, what's that saying? Better, better the devil you know, where today the wind is the devil, but tomorrow it could be the double devil. <laughs> the double devil. See, as well, what I like to do, a lot of the time I'll just overlap the tape straight onto the paper but then every couple of runs down especially in the wind see how i've taped it to half to the existing paper half to the surface that i'm on and to my paper that i've just done so that way these two here are held down by the surface that i've taped to so instead of it all just flapping out under the wind like that if you tape it like that, it's going to hold it down um, a lot better. So I'll just show you what I mean. So I'll put it on that surface like that. So as you can see, see how I've taped it along this surface. And instead of overlap it onto the tape, I've put it onto it like that. So it's actually holding that paper to the surface. Especially in the wind, it just makes it, it, just holds it down a lot better. As you can see with this one here, I haven't done that, where you can see it, the whole thing is sort of flapping out, where with these ones, I've, I've done it, then I've paced up between, just so yeah, it just holds it down, that, that little bit extra better, um, especially when, yeah, like I said, this wind is pretty crazy today, so. just finished with what I needed but I always like to load up a new roll of tape tape with a new roll of paper and a new roll of tape that way they both pretty much end at the exact same time instead of having half a roll of tape through roll of paper you get halfway through it you got to switch over which ends up in time uh, so yeah any any ends like this I'll use as tack tape 
Uh, and yeah, I'll just get out a full new round. Tape and paper, and we go again. Efficiency. Thank you for always tuning in and watching uh, what we're up to, staying tuned, all the beautiful messages and all the love we get. It absolutely means the world. So yeah, we appreciate everyone that jumps on, tunes, tunes into all our social media, uh, throws us some love, some likes, um, and subscribes. But yeah, you know, for us, that's important. What's important? Sharing that love for what we do. And that's painting. Thank you.